I'm Leanne and this is Scotch on the Bayou where we talk about the wonders of Scotch whiskey and the flavors of life in Louisiana and today we're gonna have a camp dram. Uh, Mark, my husband and I are here for the weekend. This is our camp about an hour away from our home in Baton Rouge. It's our place where we just chill out and enjoy some downtime, some much needed downtime, um, especially after this year. <laughs> So um, it's been a little chilly, so we built a fire. We know Mark built a fire. So today we're having a taste of Talisker 10. I wanted something smoky, but not too peaty, and this fits the bill. Talisker is on the Isle of Skye, and it's an absolutely gorgeous place, like no other place in the world. And uh, mm, this smells really good. getting a salty coastal smell off of this the malts there there's an the underlying sweetness lovely smoke notes definitely got the malt on it and the maritime salt really comes through on the nose but especially on the palate Salt forward, sweet towards the back. Nice char smoke. Not too much, I mean, it's peated, but it's not peat, you know. It's not an Isla. It's very enjoyable. <sighs> Love that. Bits of orange. The sweetness is more like, um, mm, like a fresh fruit or a pear or apple. It's not sickly sweet. It's not sherry sweet. Definitely have the malt on the nose there, but the brine you can't deny. Nice finish, beautiful color, non chill filtered, almost at 46%. This is one of those that I get my bourbon friends to start in on when they think about smoke and peat because it's got some substance, but it's not over the top. Just good, malty, salty scotch. So camp drams are gonna be little specials that we do within um, our YouTube channel to share a dram, let you know what I think about that bottle. It's kind of like a review. If I'm talking about it, I probably like it. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. If you had Talisker 10, if you had Talisker at all, which ones do you like the best? Do you get the smoke? Do you get peat? I get no peat. So we'll be talking more about camp drams and, and each one will tell you a little bit more about the camp and about our uh, little happy place. It's nothing fancy. It's just where we go to, to chill out, let the blood pressure go down and take time for ourselves and share a few drams. And until the next time we share a dram at the camp, it's all to y'all.